Good morning, everyone. Hello and happy Monday. It's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and I am so happy to be here live with you this overcast Monday morning. Um, today, I um, am going to be honest, I have struggled. <laughs> happens to the best of us so this morning I am casing a card we had a very busy weekend um, and it was uh, my uh, daughter Danny or Bella that I like to call her um, it was her birthday so um, yesterday so we had a very fun filled day uh, Damon and Allie were over we had uh, dinner played some games and chatted and all that so it was so fabulous I hope you guys all had a fabulous weekend I got the house decorated the tree is up and my Christmas decorations as good as they're gonna get are done so check that off the list <laughs> um, so today is uh, wrapping presents afternoon so, uh, yeah, so good morning, Jeannie. Good morning, Monica. Please say hello when you join in. Let me know where you're watching from, even if you're watching on the replay. And if you're watching on YouTube, please um, still say hello. I love to um, hear from you. Let me know where you're watching from. And um, please, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. YouTube loves thumbs up. Give me a heart on um, Facebook. Facebook loves that. So um, yeah, so let's take a moment to flip you around. Um, it's gonna take me a minute. This is my new craft table that I, um, my amazing brother-in-law, Willie, had, or CDC frames, he had uh, put together for me that I had ordered off of Wayfair Professional back in, it took five or six weeks, I believe, to get here. Um, so it was back in November, and it took him three full hours to put it together. <laughs> so, but yeah, I used it on Saturday from afternoon for my team virtual Christmas um, social, um, and it was fabulous. So today is my first day of actually creating and crafting here. So um, hopefully I have everything in reach otherwise i'll have to run around the other side of the table to my regular craft area and um get it so hold hold one minute while we flip you around there is my window and okay bring you forward All right, then I'll have to adjust my lights. So, um, my catalogs arrived on Friday. Good morning, Jeannie. Your daughter and you watched White Christmas yesterday. Wow, that is a fabulous tradition. Um, I love traditions. All right, so let's just pull you up here on my iPad. There we go. Um, I'm all about traditions. Are permission denied? Oh my, what is going on with Facebook? I can't pull you up to see comments now on... <laughs> okay, I can't see my comments. So that is really strange. I am on my business page on my... Um, iPad here and Facebook will not let me um, see so I'm not going to be able to respond to any comments here guys I am so sorry but it says that I don't have permission to see the post so um, yeah let's seriously let's give this another moment <laughs> um, so weird all right, let's, I'm refreshing and let's please cross our fingers that I can um, 
get here and is it going to let me now? I'm posting now. Okay. <laughs> I think we're good. That was really strange. Um, permission denied. I've never had that. Okay. Now I can see comments. Okay. So hello, Jeannie and Brenda and Catherine. Thank you for joining me. So, all right. How are my lights? Am I bright enough, guys? I don't want to be glary. So, okay. So, reminders now that I think, yes, technology is just so wonderful, Jeannie. You know, I said that I would have a video on Friday for you guys. I had the video, but my, um, it wouldn't transfer from my iPhone to my laptop. My photos wouldn't transfer, my video wouldn't transfer, even plugged in with the US, um, with the, uh, the power cord. I could not get it to um, load onto my computer, so I couldn't have, I couldn't go post my video because none of my stuff was moving. So it was like, all right, hopefully, um, this week is a different week. It'll go better. <laughs> so, all right. So I want to remind you about my Over the Border Stamping with Di and Marcy, the sign up for the uh, Spring Fling, sorry, Spring Social is going on now. Um, I have all the details are on a blog post. I do not have my order yet. I placed my order on December 1st, um, expedited the shipping, so that means I paid way more, and it's still December 14th. It has not arrived, so what can you do? So, today we are going to be creating with, here's a card. Um, this is in the annual catalog and can be found on page... 39, it has all kinds of great sentiments to um, choose from. So I thought, you know what, right now I am in desperate need of lots of birthday cards. So I love the font of this uh, set here. So that is what I pulled off my shelf, as well as the Playing With Patterns uh, designer series paper. As you can see, I've been chopping up in that. And then I paired it with my Playing With Patterns ribbon combo pack. This is the Coastal Cabana uh, ribbon. I think this is really a uh, fabulous ribbon. I love the extra stitching that they have in there. It's so cool. So this card was inspired by one I kind of saw. I didn't click on her post, Julie Kettlewell from the UK. So, um, as I was frustrated and running short on time with everything else going on, this is such a busy time of the year. I thought, you know what? I couldn't get, I couldn't get my mojo going. So I, I saw a post where she had all these pieces together, uh, sitting on her desk and I thought, Oh, let's do something like that. Thanks, Julie. Kettlewell from the UK. You have inspired me. So I just, um, she was using new paper. I knew that. So um, we are using, okay, let me flip to the punch page of my catalog because here we go. So we are using, this is the, what are you called? Small Bloom Punch. I'll flip you over so that you can actually see it. So this was last year in last year's celebration and it carried over to the annual catalog and I'm not giving it enough love. So um, perfect time today. And then this, whoops, this is called the Label Me Lovely Punch. This was in last year's mini um, catalog, the January to June. So... I'm just having a sip of my coffee. I haven't had breakfast yet. So I'm filling my tummy with coffee so it doesn't grumble on me. <laughs> so 
these are the two um, punches. And um, the, even though this is the exact same size, I want to show you, remind you of the easy way to um, get a border. So this is Coastal Cabana. We're just punching that out. I've already got my white label cut. So all you're going to do is take this and cut it in half. Just like that. And then we will assemble it so that it's just like that type of thing. So, and then we don't have purple posy ink so you can see though i have some ink on the edges of my flowers to really make them pop um, so what we're going to do is purple posy is one of the colors that is going away it is a um, in color and it will be retiring. I think this is such a beautiful purple. Okay, so we have, um, we have punched our three blooms. So let's move this aside. So I want to actually, with my bone folder, I want to curl them first so that I've, I'm just softening the fibers. I'm not going too awful hard because you don't want to rip your cardstock, but I just want to give that each of those petals a little bit of curl. Good morning, Nancy. Thank you for joining. All right, so we're just curling that. Yeah, our one of our Christmas traditions is Christmas Eve. We always... Um, the last movie we watch before heading off to bed is always, um, at least for us adults, older adults, I should say. Um, my adult children stay up way later than me. Um, even Brad generally stays up later than I do. I am not a night owl. I'm a um, early bird. But we watch uh, the original how the Grinch Stole Christmas with Boris Karloff um, narrating. Love, love, love that movie. And then Christmas Day, after we open gifts and all that kind of stuff, we always put on It's a Wonderful Life. So I am taking my Stampin' Right marker, the Purple Posy, and I'm going to color on my clear block. I'm just scribbling getting a, as much ink on there as possible. All right, so let me just move this stuff out of the way. And then I've got a sponge dauber here. I rinsed my sponge daubers out, um, so that's why this one is very blue. So let me just, I'm seeing that my lighting is, let me just bring this. Does that help make it a little brighter? So. I'm just collecting all this ink that I've put on that block. And you can see, because it's such a faint color, I'm picking it up. So I'm going to keep doing that to load as much color as possible onto my sponge dauber. And then I'm going to... just brush it on those edges. All right, so can you see, is the camera gonna pick up that just so subtle, but it, um, it just makes it that little bit if I do that, can you see that? I hope so. It makes it that little bit deeper color by doing that on those edges. So you can do this with any ink, um, 
marker that you've got. You don't necessarily need the ink pad. If you don't have all the ink pads, but you do have all the Stampin' Right markers, then this is a excellent way to get more color variety in your projects by using your markers that way. And of course, the more you scribble and pick up, the deeper you're gonna get that color. Hello, Chris, thanks for joining. I want a little bit more on there. Whoop, wrong end. Pick all that beautiful color up. So I will not be live on Wednesday. I will, um, the video I shot for last week, I will have that posted because my catalogs have arrived and it is a lot of work to get my catalogs out the door to you guys. So um, I have to spend the next few days working my butt off to get my catalogs ready to go and my sister Anne always helps me but um, we are now in the red zone um, so we're not supposed to be having as of today uh, the rules have changed with being in the red zone now so we're not supposed to be mixing households so that means I don't have those extra set of hands to help me get um, my catalogs ready to go. So it is, um, unfortunately, it's gonna take me a little bit longer. I like to send the catalogs myself as I like to um, add in any of my um, flyers for anything that's um, coming up. So if I've got, um, well, January, I will have my paper share. So I have to have that document in there and I'm gonna have um, my classes to um, remind you guys. So my January class, flyer will be in there as well as um, the spring social and any other specials or things like that. So this is the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. So I'm just putting that in the center. I'm using the large, one large and then the uh, smaller ones and my color combination is straight from my designer series paper. I have chosen the Coastal Cabana, the um, my sentiment is stamped in Night of Navy and then the Purple Posy. So I love it when Stampin' Up! mixes colors together to give us a great um, color palette for us to choose for our creating. All right, so we're just gonna set you aside for a moment. And now we're gonna bring in our sentiment and our Knight of Navy. Okay. Yeah, so sadly, because my order hasn't arrived, um, I haven't been able to hold my in the pines class because that order has those stamp sets and bundles. So if it doesn't arrive soon, I think I'm gonna have to just shoot a video and for each of the uh, projects and have my ladies just 
click on the video link. So, because it's getting to the point, everybody is so super busy. Okay. So my base is Thick Whisper White. And then I've got my two, um, my designer series paper and my card stock. And we're just gonna, it's adhesive on that. I don't have the blog post typed up yet. As I'm filming, I will after the fact. So you'll be able to pop on over there and get all of the measurements. So I'm taking my ribbon here and I'm just gonna roughly tie it so that I know how much I'm gonna need and then I'll snip it. This way I avoid wasting a bunch of ribbon. Okay, move that to the side. All right. So if you guys have fur babies, do you buy them presents? I always buy my babies presents. So fun to have stuff under the tree for them as well. I ordered Miss Maisie some clothes as well. Some fun new warm things as she is so tiny. All right, so I'm just getting my ribbon here. fixed so that it's as always I'm slipping my thumbs through grabbing the tails and holding them your babies get a new toy and a special treat oh just like me you got to have a special treat um, we're just gonna pull you down My problem is I get so excited when I see all of those fun things. I want to um, I want to buy it all for them. <laughs> so I got something for Buffy as well, even though Buffy is Danny's dog. I didn't get anything for Marshall. I'll let her do that. But when I was in... Um, Pet smart, I thought, you know, let's get both girls something. That was my first time in Pet Smart since um, the start of the year, since COVID started. I hadn't been in, so. I wanted to just a teeny tiny bit of normalcy, right? Okay, so we're gonna bring this over. And the way I'm gonna attach this is I am going to apply a little bit of glue just at the top there. And then I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to lay this over top. It's always easier if you can to add your adhesive to your larger piece rather than the smaller. So there we have that pieces attached. They also do an advent calendar. Oh, wow. Aren't you the fabulous fur mommy?
get some ribbon stuck to my glue there. Okay, so flip this and and then take a little peek to see. Bring that up just slightly. That looks fairly even to me. So now we are going to add a couple dimensionals. Let me uh, click on the see more. Cooper and Chevy, what cool names. And one in the center. All right. Next, I have to um, make a bunch of masculine cards. We've got a bunch of male birthdays coming up. My nephew drew down in Arizona. His birthday is tomorrow. I sent his card out um, a few weeks ago, so I'm hoping that he will have it. All right, so that looks about centered. I'm tucking it into the corner there. Lifting it up to make sure that I'm fairly straight. I want the corner of the bow just to be kind of um, extending out over my label. And then now we can snip our ends. Actually, we need to pull you a smidge more, I think. Good morning, Stephanie. Thanks for joining. Okay, so now we can just kind of give that a tug to adjust that so it's not up over that. So now, because we've softened, we already... Um, Use the bone folder to soften those petals. So we can now move them. The glue has had a chance to set. So we're gonna put a daub there. Okay, and then move you slightly there so that they're kind of tucked in together. And then the big one is going to be Manipulate those petals back up, and we are going to use a dimensional on the back. So, all right. And we're just going to tuck you right in here. And there we have our fun birthday card. So, what do you think? Um, I did change up the colors a bit from what Julie had done, but yeah, very uh, soft and subtle, very pretty birthday card. And next I'm gonna have to start pulling out my guys, um, my guy uh, sets to create for the males in my life. My brother-in-law, Willie, his birthday is coming up as well as my father-in-law. Um, so uh, we've got lots of uh, birthdays happening. Good morning, Em. Thanks for joining. So yeah, so and it's um, our house this now until Christmas. Brad is working from home 
because they're only allowed to have so many in the office. So Brad is going to be here every day. So I'm, I'm thinking I'll be able to get him to give me a hand here and there. Um, say, hey, honey, do you want to use the big sh the um, stamp and uh, cut emboss machine and do some die cutting for me and stuff like that? Help me get some of this uh, stuff uh, ready to go for my uh, lovely customers with their catalogs. Help me stuff envelopes in that. I'm hoping, I'm hoping since I'm down a set of hands, having him help me might be a fun thing. So, all right. Oh, and my light just, I moved my light and I'm gonna have to play with my lighting here, guys, because I'm just not quite happy with the way doesn't look as bright as I normally have my other desks so yeah so anyhow enough of me blabbering on this morning I don't have all of my coffee in me so uh, <laughs> I'm a little motor mouth <laughs> Carol you don't have your uh, you have to start on your guy cards as well yeah I think we always leave them to the end because masculine cards are kind of tricky i was trying to play this morning and i was just like ugh, no this is not working tried something else oh no that's not working so that's when i went all right let's hop on instagram scroll through and see if there's something that will inspire me <laughs> because nothing was coming together for me this morning so but soon I will be starting to share the new products with you with my videos and that. So um, I know that there's some guy stuff in that and some other fun stuff. So yeah. All right. I'm going to say um, goodbye for now. Um, remember, Wednesday will be a video. I will not be live on Wednesday. Um, fingers crossed that I get tons of work done and I get those catalogs ready to be mailed out and picked up um, by the end of the week. I'm fingers crossed. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Have a fabulous Monday, guys. Have a great start to your week. And I will um, see you again soon. Bye for now.